Hello, since making those 2D mouth and eyes rigs using a mesh instead of grease pencil, I was thinking of creating a complete character using polygons. Why? Mainly because grease pencil has a major limitation when it comes to rigging. It doesn't support shape keys. This I discussed in a previous video that you can find here. Other grease pencil limitations include not supporting shadow casting and regular blender materials and shading. So here you see the boy Max, the result of long days of experimentation with 2D modeling and rigging. I'll walk you through his various features from the most basic to the bestest and coolest ones. This is a low poly 2D mesh that basically looks like this. When you add a subdivision modifier it changes to this, which kind of looks like a South Park character. Note that the mesh looks perfectly fine if you look at it from the back. I then added line art, and this is the only grease pencil element in this rig. Rigging Max was the hardest part, not because it was hard to rig, but because I wanted to take my time to make the simplest and most powerful rig. This rig has all the good things that the ones I made previously in this channel have and more. It's simple to make and to control, it supports Rigify which adds very powerful features with no efforts plus a cool visual look, assigning vertex groups to bones is very easy since the character has low poly count. Let's see what the rig can do starting with the spine which uses the Rigify tentacle type. Rotating a bone will add rotation to the following bones creating an effortless arc effect. Tweak bones automatically generated by Rigify add additional deforming possibilities. The arms also use the tentacle system, while the hands have controls to close the fingers individually and another control to turn the hand. The legs use the Rigify leg type which has many powerful features out of the box, switching between forward and inverse kinematics, stretching, etc. Forward kinematics or FK means that each bone in the leg moves relative to its parent, while IK means that the last bone will be able to move the parent bones. This can for example make the feet stick to the ground while other body parts are moving. Stretching means that moving some bones will stretch the legs, and this can be either reduced or disabled. There's a custom control bone to flip the whole leg if you want Max to change direction while walking for example. Head rotation in all directions is controlled with a single bone. The eyes and mouth are very similar to the ones we made in previous tutorials except they are simpler. Each eyebrow has one control to move, rotate and resize it and one to change its shape. Simple but can give the boy unlimited expressive looks when combined with the shaping of the eyes. The mouth, like the eyes, has one bone to close and open it, and a few to shape it. Another single control changes the curve of the mouth. This is very useful because it allows you to make natural shapes for speech and then with that single bone you can make the boy happy or sad while speaking. With Max, you don't need to make a whole different rig for the backside. You just hit R, Z, 180, enter, and you're done. The rig works perfectly for both sides. More, you don't even need to remake your animations. The same front animations will work in the back view with no or very light adjustments. The line art, of course, will also adjust by magic to every camera angle. That's it, this was my effort to make 2D rigging in Blender simpler and more powerful. Tell me if you are interested in a paid course detailing the whole process of making and rigging Max. While at it, tell me what would be a fair price of it. This will require a considerable investment of my time, that's why I want to know that there is enough interest before I engage in it. As always, thank you for watching and see you in another video. Peace!